Hi everyone, welcome to Movies and Us. I am Tony. And I'm Danielle. And welcome to our first episode of our series of home invasion movies. This will be running for quite some time. And in today's episode, we will be doing two um, home, invasion. home invasion movies. That's so funny. Did we, we, by the way, we've actually rec this video should have been out by Friday. We recorded the the actual video, came to edit, and the the the, um, the audio was right off. It was um, so oh, echoey. Okay. It was just horrible to listen to. I'm horrible to listen to anyway, but it was just worse. So oh. yeah, it was just like oh uh, hello or whatever it's called. But um, anyway. Let's hope that this one has turned out a lot better. Like so the seventh take. The f yeah. <laughs> so anyway, getting into it, let's get on to what we're doing it for. So it's uh, the first movie we're going to be reviewing, which is, is uh, a movie called Angst from 1983. We've got to like... Sorry, <laughs> stop. We've got the dog with us and she's annoying me. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, so anyway, so a movie called Angst from 1983. Directed by Gerald Cargill. And this movie was not an easy watch, was it? Yeah, well, no. I'll explain Quick the... Quick plot synopsis from yeah. Danielle. Sorry. Plot synopsis. A killer is released from prison. Um, straight away, he's still planning and he's got the urge to kill again. And he stumbles across the house, invades the house, hence the genre that we're following, home invasion. Yeah. And he goes about killing, well, he goes about targeting the um, homeowners, which is an old lady, her disabled son, and the daughter. Mm. That's the whole plot. And then the film mm. unfollows. But I would like to point out this film, none of the characters have names. Um, it's a narration, so there's hardly any dialogue which makes it even all that more uncomfortable as well yeah. and i did find at times i was screaming at the screen like oh say something do something and then we were like oh there is no dialogue um yeah so it's is mm. kind of like a silent movie isn't it um <clears> except <throat> for the grunts and the groans and yeah they, they, there's, there's there's limits of dialogue you know what i mean throughout the movie but it, it, it is limited isn't it yeah but, Until the end, but the, well, you do, we do, um, you do understand the character, and um, the killer. You understand a lot about him because of the. I don't know whether it's not a monologue; it is a narration. He talks through the film um, in a, a narration narrated way, which actually allows you to follow the film. So you do understand what's going on. Um, yeah, but touching on what Danielle's saying is the movie does a really great job on. Um, yeah, that's a, a sorry. It's that's actually a dog. It's not a rat. But yeah, so the dog, the, the dog. <laughs> the, the, touching on what Danielle was saying about the the, the the narration of the movie is it it does a really good job. Give give it its due. It does a really good job of telling the story. The narration does from the beginning of the scene where the man again touching on what Danielle said. It's got no there's no character names it's the man who's the serial killer and before i go on as well is this is actually subtitled it's a it's a german um movie um oh we so, should have said that straight yeah away. sorry it's about german, that so yeah so to. it's a german movie by the way it's but anyway the the guy the, the man as you want to call him he's um the beginning he's coming out the the the, uh, the i was going to say the hospital and comes out the prison, prison and he comes out and you know as he's getting himself together he's putting his clothes on he's dressed very smart before that he's shaving but he's narrating he's going on about why he's in jail so we're getting the gist of things he's in jail because he killed his mom he stabbed his mum to death and then straight away you know you know he's just obviously a, a psychopath and he's and when he comes out of jail he, he comes out he's well dressed and obviously mm -hmm comes to that the restaurant it's scene like, it's like a diner like a diner yeah and obviously in germany they like the big sausages um you know, you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, i'm just thinking of the scene where he's eating the sausage all oh, right i was, because yeah, I was I think, thinking of something else i think with with this film what works well because it's not a great film the acting by no means is great it's not it's it's 
awkward to watch. Mm. It's you use the word on when we originally recorded this, it was very gritty and grim. Yes. Um very but gritty. with the narration and the acting, they do <coughs> go hand in hand and it allows you to watch it. Um and it, we, even with the close-up shots, there's a lot of close-up shots and point-of-view shots where, um, and I think this is where this film might have been ahead of its time, because you see him running, but it's like the cameras, he's obviously holding the camera. Um, yeah, like a head shot and yeah, he's it's moving around. Yeah, it's a point-of-view shot, isn't it? Um, yeah. Where he's running and it is gritty and it's uncomfortable, but the narration helps a lot with, with it. Most so. definitely. <clears throat> That, that makes it, you know, easier <laughs> yeah. to watch. But, and then, so obviously, this is where sausage. the whole, the, the sausage scene, the, 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 there's a very, there's very close up shots of him eating a sausage and dipping it in the mustard and he's eating it. And he's looking at these two quite attractive younger females. Yeah. That they that sat in the, 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 the cafe and he's just, as he's eating the sausage, it's going in and it's, the, the mustard, it's it's horrible. <laughs> but he's, he, he's he's talking about what he'd pretty much like to do to these two young women. And and then you start to get to know what kind of person he is and what, what his... His mindset. His mindset is. Even though he's just come out of jail, he's still... He's hungry, basically. He's hungry to kill. That's why he's eating a sausage. And you can tell that he, 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 what he's doing to the sausage. It's, oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what you... I'm not doing this video again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm... anyway, what he's doing to the sausage? I'm so sorry. I didn't realise. Um, so what he does doing to the sausage? You basically is what he wants to do to them women. He's tearing it apart. He's dipping it in the um, the mustard. It's disgusting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's and it's then uncom- it's very uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable. And from the get go, it's it's a it's a hundred miles an hour. And by the time that the movie had finished, I was exhausted. I was like, I'm yeah. glad that's over, and I'm glad I, I'm never gonna watch that again. And I and we're only watching it for you out there to do this <laughs> home invasion series. So if you want to follow along with us, start with angst, and you'll know where we're coming from. I think it is a great film to watch because it was in 1983. You just said it's not no, a great film. <laughs> no, it's not a great film. But I know if, what you, you mean. if you if you if you if you want to if yeah. you want to do a home invasion, don't start with it, us. <laughs> no, yeah. the more recent ones, you know, are more you know of the times. But this one back in 1983, it's a totally different way of of a you know of a film. Um, it's in German, so you've got to follow the subtitles. There's no yeah. dialogue, or well, limited dialogue. Mm. Um, there's no <laughs> colour, really, except that, as I did say about the colour scheme, is that the two girls in the diner, the restaurant, one's wearing red, one's wearing blue, and the only other telltale colour was the red hat in the car. Um, but as you said as well, it does go like a hundred miles an hour in certain scenes but then some scenes seem to be dragged out so it's not like loads of different <clears> shots it's like a, the scene does breathe but it's it's just, it's just awkward grim. grim and uncomfortable when the scene when the scenes have slowed down and are dragged out a bit again this is where the narration comes into play because it, that's filling in the gaps and yeah. he, he's he, again it's telling you about his mindset but um it's one of them. It, I know it was a film made in 1983 and it is a German film um, and it's a home invasion slash serial killer movie. And all I can say is, without us ruining it anything, just go ahead and give it a go. If you want to jump on this home invasion series with us, give it a go. Um, we've watched it. We've watched it. You should watch it. <laughs> But um, it's 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 not a it's not a it's not a, a movie. I'd go. Oh, do you know what? I wouldn't mind watching that again. It's just one of them. It's done and it's dusted. It's one of them, you know, movie lovers out there, and you, at least you can turn around and go, yeah, I've seen that. It's one of them movies. With with this list, we're trying to put thing, you know, these home invasion movies on the list. What we know, people We've probably never haven't watched really. Or heard, people heard haven't of. heard of. Mm. And also, um, mm. it just gives you the, an appreciation of where film was and yeah. where it, how far it's come from yeah but there were so many times i was screaming at the tv you know what's he doing run 
oh my god you and can get out of that yeah. and, and obviously by the end of the movie so you <clears throat> obviously the beginning and then you've got the 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 the, the second act as we say is where it is he's, um, in, the he's in the house he's causing, causing havoc to the mum the daughter and the poor disabled brother which is who does look it's, at the camera a few too yeah, many times. Yeah, a few too many times. It's, like, it's, it, I, I, it, it's gritty. It made me feel sick. And in the end, it's it's horrible. It's actually, the end bit is horrible. He's chaotic though, isn't it's he? Chaotic. He's chaotic. That's the right word. And he, he's like, he's strong as well. Because he picks that ladder, fella, yeah. you yeah. know, and throws him in the boot. <laughs> well, of his car. again, I'm not trying to, this is like a bit of a spoiler, but. He obviously kills people in it, and he kills the people in the house. So it's a spoiler, yeah. But it's a home invasion. It's a home invasion. But how the fuck did he get three bodies in that boot? I know. Honest to God, I was like, that's a big fuck, and we need a bigger boot in our car. And I was like, that's that that all right. That. Well, like, I like look for one of them fucking nineteen seventies cars. It was it. It was a. I have not got a clue. I can't remember what it was. Mercedes, it was a Yeah, but it, it was <clears throat> it. Thinking back now, I appreciate we watched the film. Yeah, it wasn't great. It was disturbing to watch, and it was uncomfortable. It was like, oh my god, how long's left? But we watched it. It was the first one of our home invasion films, and yeah, that's what we're going to be. We've started with. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, so ending on the first one, that is Angst from 1983, a German subtitled movie. Um, and uh, yeah. I think I might keep that sausage scene in it after you <laughs> embarrassing me. <laughs> I'm glad you stopped me. Oh, it's just still tickling just me. It's doing. still tickling me. So moving on to the next movie, we are going with another 1980s. Six. Yeah, a 1980s. 19... Yeah, we're going with another... I was about to say that. Um, we're going with another 1980s movie. Um, 19, sorry, 1986 movie. Um, um, I've got the 4K set just here. Nice 4K set there from Arrow. And it's a movie called Henry, the Portrait of a Serial Killer, starring Michael Rooker. I like him. He's great. I think um, the director is... Uh, we'll pin it. No, yeah, I think it's something Norton. Um, I, I forgot. I'm not sure, but what we didn't. David we didn't, Norton, I think. We, we didn't. We forgot to mention is that angst is based on a true story. Yes. And so is Henry, the portrait of a serial killer. So, so these are two '80s home invasion films: one in '83, one in '86, and they're both serial killers. Home both invasion, true, true story. Life serial killers. Yes. So we thought it'd be good to do a double feature with these two, both very similar characters. Which is yeah, where his angst <laughs> obviously came three years before, um, and the portrait of a serial killer. Now this is this is quite similar in ways. This is following Henry, um, who played by Michael Rooker. The, the big difference with this film is, as you can tell, Michael Rooker. It's American made. It's a bit of a higher budget, and there's it's dialogue. A, there's dialogue, <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's a it's a it's a well acted movie. Um, it's, and it's can't remember the actor who played Alter. She's been in some Rob Zombie yeah, movies. I was just about to say. But his friend Alter, you've got you've got Henry, you've got his friend Alter, and then in the second act, around the second act, his sister comes into it. I think her no, name she's is in Kelly. The first. Or was it the first? She act? is because she comes and visits Otis. Because the synopsis of this is that Henry and Otis were both in prison together, and Henry and Otis are sharing an apartment. Otis's sister. She, I believe, and do correct me if I'm wrong, she separates from Otis's sister. I think her name mm. is Kelly. Yeah, uh, Kelly. She, um, if not, I'll... I think she separates from her partner name. and she goes to Chicago to live with Otis to make something better of herself. She's actually left her daughter at home with her mum. And obviously she's young and she's that petite, blonde, you know younger sister kind of character that comes in to a big city and she meets Henry yeah. and then the story kind of unfolds where her and Henry obviously there's a bit of chemistry she looks up to him and yeah it just unfolds and he kind of warms to her as much as you know a serial killer <clears throat> can um, but do you blame her because on the other hand Otis he's 
Pev. He's a Pev. He he basically, and he's got the odds for his sister. So there's a bit of incestuous. incestuous yeah. Yeah. That kind of bad going bad on. Bad going on, and obviously he does try that with her, and is and that this is where Henry, Henry steps, steps in. in. But there's a scene. So basically, with Henry, as he takes Otis under his wing, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. And there's a scene with a couple of prostitutes in the car, and this is the first time he sees Henry murder. Yeah. And obviously, without spoiling things, he murders the other prostitute, and then Otis wants to see what it's like, feel yeah. what it's like to kill someone. So he does take him under his, yeah, wing, under his wing, and then this is why this is a home invasion film, and we put it in this kind of um, mm. video, is because Henry and Otis then invade a house together, and they traumatise. It's not a long scene and he doesn't chase people around the house, but... It's, 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 it is it's it's gritty. It is, yeah. a, a game like angst, it's very gritty and it's it's not... In my opinion, I've seen Henry a few times and I, I when I was younger and it's one of them films where I maybe revisit it every few years. I don't know why, I just do, because you sort of forget and you go, I'll give it another go. And again, it reminds me why I don't really watch it that much. It's um, it's not it's not a very rewatchable movie. It's gritty and grim. I think the characters though are memorable. Um, yeah. You do warm to Kelly. I'm sure. I, I, I think it think is, Kelly. Name is Kelly. Well, just Otis's sister. Otis's sister. You warm to her. You you want to see her. You know, do good. And then when you see um, Henry kind of warm towards her, you think, oh, she's kind of like saving him. Um, but yeah, the, there's kind of no real saviour for a serial killer mm. and the best place for them is either in prison or six feet under. So, well, I thought that film was a hundred times better than Angst. I thought it was yeah, but... better shot. The acting was a lot better. Mm. Um, but what I did like about um, Henry is the there is a sound that when the car radios are playing or there's music, um, the sound tracks match the what's going on in the film. Um, yeah, the, it, like the score. The, it's yeah. not the score, it's the sound track. Oh, the sound the particular track. songs that were playing, if you listen to the lyrics, it's fitting for the scene. Oh, yeah. Um, so I, I actually enjoyed that. I noticed that and I thought that was really good. And touching on why we think it's a good home invasion slash like the serial killer on like hangsters because there is that home invasion scene but throughout the, the beginning of the film when Henry has killed you don't see him killing people but it's in homes he's gone into women's homes because touching on Henry he's a, he's actually got a job he's like a fumigator exterminator and yeah. he goes around he obviously fumigates like um, cockroaches um, or rats or whatever but he, he, he goes into women's houses He's um, got that stalker vibe as well. Stalker vibe. And if he likes the look, he'll go and knock and say, oh, I've been told I need to come and fumigate your house. They let him in. And then it goes on to the next shot and the woman's been strangled or whatever. And it's in the, in the home. So Kind of leaves it to your imagination, some of the first yeah. kills, except that one scene with Otis, mm. you can see he then starts to get a liking for it. Um, and then you see his character develop to a point where he then becomes a liability yeah. And obviously we won't spoil the film, but you just have to watch it. It kind of mm. unravels and then the yeah. film comes to an end, doesn't it? That's it. And with these reviews, we're, I, even though some of them are going to be old, what we're reviewing, we don't want to spoil it. We just want to like slightly just touch on the movie and give you, you know, if you want to get into this home invasion series, what we're doing. And these two movies have not been nice to watch. No. <laughs> Hopefully there's some better ones down the road, which they will be. Down that road. Down that road. <laughs> but it'd be great if uh, you guys want to jump on, watch these two. If you've not seen them, um, watch them and then jump back on the video and make a comment down or below. Or on Instagram so you can just comment or, or reach out. Yeah, Movies and Us were on Instagram, The Girl and the Movie. And we can talk about these these uh, these movies. And it, that's the good fun about it. Maybe we can talk yeah. about them. And Do you think these two are home invasion movies like we do? Um, if not... Let us know down below and um, give us a thumbs up. Yeah. Oh, you can't do it. You can give us a thumbs down if you don't, want, but please. don't, don't please. <laughs> um, you always say that, yeah. like, don't. You can if you want, but um, they, they agree or disagree, don't bother us. Um, 
but it's good to have a discussion. It is, and we like to visit films that are not always in the mainstream media. Exactly, like these two, about. like these two. So that's... The Grim, very yeah. grim. Yeah. And hard to watch. Yeah, <clears throat> um, but yeah, basically, um, like I always go, oh, I'm happy with that. <laughs> I always seem to say that I'm happy with that of yeah, you, but yeah, I, I am. am. And also, so again, if you've enjoyed this, let us know what you think. So we just covered Angst from 1983 and Henry the Portrait of Serial Killer from 1986. Both true films. And grim. So. Yeah. Okay. We'll see it all in the next one. I um, hope this is not echoey. I hope this is, yeah, I hope so too. But yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you soon in the next video. Yep, take care, bye for now. Bye now.